Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your lag stop in Minecraft 1.14. At least give our best shot at it. Minecraft 1.14 is the most unoptimized version of Minecraft we have seen in a very, very long time. But today my goal is to make it as lag free as we possibly can. Now for this tutorial, you will need Optifine. Optifine is something that I have an in-depth guide on setting up in Minecraft 1.14, so you can check out the i at the top of your screen. It's also linked in the description down below on how to install Optifine. It goes through every single step of the process, and then once you've went through that video, you can come watch this video. It's actually linked to the end of that Optifine video, so it's pretty easy to get back here. Nonetheless, though, first and foremost, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS pick in Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on, whether it's on Minecraft 1.14, whether it's modded Minecraft, whether it is any version of Minecraft that you want in the past. If you want to start a faction server, if you want a skybox server, anything and everything, you can do it with Apex Minecraft hosting, and most of that can be done with just one click. So if you want an incredible, lag-free Minecraft server hosting experience, go check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Now, to stop your lag in Minecraft, the first thing we're going to do is start here in the Minecraft launcher. So once you're here, you want to click on the three lines up here in the top right. Then you're going to click on launch options, right? Once you're here, you're going to click on the Optifine profile that you should have. You should have Optifine installed. Again, that video is at the eye and in the description of this video. Once you're there, click on that Optifine profile. Now, we have to talk about some stuff. So first things first is resolution. The smaller these numbers are, the less lag you'll have in Minecraft. But you also have to keep in mind, you want Minecraft to be a large enough window for you to be able to play it. So I'm going to be running it here at 1920 by 1080. That is just for video reasons. I would recommend doing 1280 by 720, 1280 by 720. If you want to still have a big enough Minecraft window to be able to play without having to worry about, you know, not being able to see anything and stuff like that and optimizing it the most for lag. Now, JVM arguments down here and adding more RAM to Minecraft is a very important thing. You need to check out the I at the top of the screen, as well as the link in the description down below on how to add more RAM to Minecraft and calculate how much RAM you can add to Minecraft. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually not going to be upping the RAM and we're going to see how much FPS we can crank out of it because some people can't go over two gigabytes of RAM in Minecraft. So we're just going to leave that as default and click save. Now we can come back over to news and launch up our Optifine profile, click in the little arrow there clicking on Optifine and click and play. So now 1.14 will open up. Once it does, we'll transition into it, into an in-game sort of a view. So you'll be able to see everything a lot easier and overall it'll just be clearer for you to be able to see. So this is opening up now. Once we're on the main menu, I'll go ahead and get that transfer rocking. There we go, Minecraft main menu. And we should be able to click this and there we go. Now we are in the Minecraft main menu. Once you're here, we wanna go and get a baseline. Now I am actually going to do two things before we get that baseline. One of the things that can lag you very, very easily is shaders and resource packs. So in 1.14, we're gonna click on options here, go into resource packs, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my resource pack off. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because we again, don't want any lag and Minecraft's default resource pack is one of the least laggy resource packs. There are some resource packs out there that say they will reduce lag, but usually Minecraft's default will be perfectly fine for you. Now I'm also gonna turn off my shaders. So if we go in here, click on video settings, right? That was video settings and then we did the shaders and then we clicked off. Now, if you can't select shaders or your shaders are already off, that's fine, but make sure your shaders are off and your resource pack is not clicked. Basically it's not activated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com gonna get a baseline right so we're just gonna be in the spawn of the server here and I'm going to just hit F3 and we're gonna see what our FPS is so it's actually up here in the top right all our top left all the time and as you can see we have 385 400 FPS that's gonna be hard to beat to be honest right but when we're moving around we're getting in like the 160 180 range so let's go ahead and move around and just kind of get that baseline so I would say somewhere around 300 to 400 is where we're when moving around pretty stable so there's that so with that, let's go ahead and disconnect here and get Optifine set up. So to do that, we're gonna go back to the Minecraft main menu here, click on options, and then click on video settings. Now, I'm gonna assume you have a horrible computer. Absolutely horrible. And actually, the reason that FPS was so high was because most of this was already optimized. You can see fast, off, off, off. So most of this was already optimized. That's why we had that have an FPS, but we'll still try to crank out a little more. So first things first is graphics. You wanna make sure that is on fast. Render distance, I'm gonna put this as low as we can go. Normally I would keep it a little higher for the tutorial, but where we were already pretty much optimized there, that's one of the main ways you can get back a bunch of FPS is by lowering your render distance. So I'm gonna lower it to two. However, most of the time you can play around eight, 
to 10 and be perfectly fine. However, I wouldn't go over that if you have a very bad computer. Render distance is something a lot of people say, you want me to play on a two render distance? If you can't play Minecraft at all and the only render distance you can play on is two, suddenly two render distance is pretty appealing. However, if your computer can handle it, go ahead and turn it up. Smooth lighting, turn that off. Maximum frame rate, we're gonna leave that at unlimited. That's just so I can see how much of an FPS increase we get from this. Smooth lighting level needs to be off. View bobbing, you can turn that on or off. It's not gonna affect lag, it's just whether or not you want. However, off is going to give you the best results, but really truly, you can just leave it whatever you want. Use VBOs needs to be on. GUI scale, that can be whatever you want. It's really not gonna change too much as far as performance goes. Technically, this GUI scale one, the smallest it can go, is going to have the least lag, but uh, I don't think you could see that and neither could I. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that on three. Use VBOs, again, needs to be on. Brightness doesn't affect performance. Attack crosshair, that's whatever you want. I'm not gonna attack performance, but can be kind of cool to, you know, change it around. Dynamic lights needs to be off. Dynamic FOV needs to be off. Shaders, obviously we turned those off already. Quality, this is where we can really start going in and turning things off. Mip map levels, we're gonna turn that to off. Nearest, off, off, right? So we're basically off on all three of these and nearest on MIP map levels. Immersive textures needs to be off. Now this is one of the annoying things about 114. Every time we turn some stuff off, it is going to reload. As you can see, it just crashed there. That's an issue with 114. So it's kind of, you know, one of those things where you're going to have issues as you can see, game crash here. We'll go ahead and just launch Optifine back up. This is where Optifine is in a preview version right now. When you're watching this three weeks after this video comes out, you'll be able to turn everything off without having any crashes. But just where Optifine has issues uh, because it's in preview. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and go back into options, video settings, and we were over here in our quality settings. So we actually were able to turn that off even though it did crash the game. So we can go ahead and turn the rest of this off as well. Some of it will reload Minecraft, some of it won't. We can just go through and turn all of that off. Custom entities, reload in Minecraft, and then custom colors needs to be turned off. Then we can click done. Now we can come over here to details and we wanna turn all of this either on fast or off. So for example, trees have to be fast, but clouds, those can be turned off. Same thing for rain and snow. In theory, you wanna turn those off. However, if you're on a server, it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect that at all. Stars need to be off. Capes, those need to be off. It's cool as they are, they need to be off. Fog start needs to be as close to you as possible. Translucent box need to be fast. Held item tool tips, that actually doesn't affect performance. That's just kind of a cool thing that you can turn off with Optifine. The rest of this is going to be off or fast. You can see dropped items fast, entities off, vignette fast, alternative blocks off, off, and then biome blend, turn that to off. Now we can go ahead and click done. And now we need to go into performance. This is where you can really get things rocking and rolling. Now smooth FPS, this is normally something you wanna turn on. It's gonna make your FPS stable, going to make sure things you know, aren't peaking. If you have like choppy lag that happens every once in a while, smooth FPS can help fix that. However, we're gonna leave it off just so we can see an FPS increase, otherwise it wouldn't happen. Smooth world, this is going to be same thing, FPS stabilization, but it's only going to affect single player worlds. I'm gonna be testing this on a server, so we're gonna leave that off. Fast render needs to be turned on. Fast math needs to be turned on. Chunk updates needs to be left at one. Dynamic updates needs to be turned on. That means when you're standing still, it's gonna load more chunks than when you're moving. Region render, render regions, excuse me, needs to be turned on. Lazy chunk loading needs to be turned on. And smart animations need to be turned on. And this one, actually, everything needs to be turned on. It's kind of different from everything else I know. Go ahead and click done there. Then we want to move over here to animations where we just want to click all off in the bottom. Now, if you have them all on here, click all off down here in the bottom and then click done. Now we want to click on other. And then in here, there's really not much of anything you want to change. Overall, all of this can be left the same or actually whatever you want to do with it. The only things that are going to affect, affect lag is alt weather right here, which needs to be off. Time, if you only, this is technically a laggy thing, but I like the day night cycle on Minecraft and the performance you increase from changing it to day all the time or not all the time isn't going to be huge. But if you want to do that, you can. Again, it's only going to affect single player worlds or creative worlds. So full screen, you do not want to play Minecraft in full screen if you are looking to optimize lag. So go ahead and make sure that is off. Now auto save, this is for single player only, but auto save is one of those things where if you are having choppy lag, let's say you're having just over and over and over choppy lag, it could be because of your auto save. So you can go ahead and turn this up. However, I would not recommend turning it off more than six minutes. Six minutes is an amount of time and amount of work that I can personally lose in Minecraft and not be too worried about it. However, if you can't lose more than you know 30 seconds of work or 60 seconds of work, you can set it to that, right? You can set it to 90 seconds, three minutes, whatever. I'm gonna leave it default at six minutes, but yeah. Screenshot size, that really doesn't matter too much unless you're taking screenshots. If you wanna do screenshot size upgrades, you can. So GL errors, I would turn that off. That's a common issue with Optifine is that it pulls errors in the console. Typically, those don't mean much of anything. So 
make sure that they are turned off there. Full screen resolution, you're not gonna be doing that because full screen is turned off. Now we can click done. And there you go, Optifine is set up. It's that simple. Now, we'll go see if we have any FPS increase. I don't necessarily think we will. And the reason is because we were pretty optimized there. The only thing we did is some performance tweaks in the performance tab. So maybe we will, maybe we'll get an increase in FPS, but it is going to be in the top left of our screen there. And we're going to see 184, 212. Yeah, it looks like we're not getting anything but a stabler FPS, which is actually something that Optifine kind of says that it will do, make your FPS a bit more stable there. So yeah, we've went through all of those settings. We've gotten everything set up. And as you can see, we are getting up to that. There we go, 500, 594. These are settings we actually didn't get before. So we had to load in those chunks there and we were higher loading chunks. We got down to 100 loading chunks before. We didn't have that happen here. And now we are actually able to get into the 500 range, 600 range. 600 FPS there with this setup. So there you guys have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I should have unoptimized Optifine before I did this video to give you a bigger comparison there but the fact we are hitting a peak of 600 fps 600 plus fps is not too bad there's 700 800 as we're standing still you know one time i hit over a thousand that could be a challenge for you let me know what fps you have in the comment section down below after completing this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content on minecraft mods minecraft servers optifine all of that awesome stuff i can't wait to see it anyway my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out peace